News today, heroin is at an epidemic level in the state of Michigan. Someone overdosing here every 12 seconds. Hard to believe, isn't it? A new group wants to raise awareness of this issue, and they're doing it by creating something visual. The Now's Kristen Pierce shows us exactly what it is. These women call themselves hope dealers, and that's because they have one thing in common. They have a loved one fighting heroin addiction, or they're fighting it themselves. I will be an addict to the day I die, but I am now a recovering addict. Jamie Helm is a recovering addict. She's been clean for four years. It doesn't just happen to the addict, it happens to the whole family. Vicki Horn's stepdaughter, also a recovering addict. It was my heart and my soul. And for Patty White, it's her daughter. It's heartbreaking. I know the pain. It doesn't go away. That common pain helped create My Hope, a nonprofit that wants to get people talking about drug addiction and get addicts the help they need. No one is safe anymore. It does not discriminate. The group says too many people are dying from heroin overdoses, and they're creating a quilt to show others just how many people they're losing. I have very uh, good friends who have lost their children, and that is a devastation and a pain that never goes away. I love you more, missed dearly, forever in our hearts, just some of the messages left behind for loved ones who they love and miss so much. I mean, we don't have a friend left from back then. They're either dead or still out there. This is what they have so far, a square for every person who's died of a heroin overdose, some people as young as 18. And while they know that this quilt will continue to grow, they hope seeing this visual will encourage addicts or their families to reach out for help. In Waterford, Kristen Pierce, The Now Detroit.